Hey folks, this is Jeff of SimSamurai.net. This is a continuation tutorial of some other tutorials that I've made on laying out your skin panels for this HX1 Habu or the CS1 Stallion. Um, basically in earlier videos I've, I've shown you how I like to make my exterior skin with fiberboard. I use 1 8 inch fiberboard uh, just because it's cheap and uh, is a sufficient thickness um, to skin any of my cockpit designs. Um, you want to make sure the roughed hatched uh, side will face your inside or rather you the pilot and that the smooth uh, side will go on the exterior and again as I've discussed in tutorial videos you want to make sure that when you lay down your wall frames onto these skin panels that you know which way is properly facing in when you lay those wall panels onto the fiberboard meaning I usually lay it down so that the smooth side is face down the rough hatched or crossed grain side is face up um, but when you do that, it's also a good idea to make sure you lay it down on a really clean floor so that you don't scratch up your smooth side uh, because once you paint it, uh, you will have a tendency to see sm uh, small or fine scratches on the exterior. So if you have a sheet or maybe some carpet or some you know, construction style carpet is what I have actually in my garage. Um, I just make sure I've got a clean work surface to then lay that smooth side down onto before I mark out the wall frames. So that's a really helpful tip, something to keep in mind. But anyway, once you have the basic exterior parts of the wall frame uh, marked out, as you've seen in earlier videos, you mark out the perimeter of the 2x4 wall frame supports, um, you're going to want to mark uh, the inside middle sections of each 2x4 so that you know where your screws are going to be placed. And, and therefore, you want to make a line mark down the very center of your 2x4s. Um, and how you can do this is obviously you can do it with a ruler and you're going to have to you know, go down each uh, piece of 2 by 4 material to try and make a center line down the exact center. That's kind of a pain to do. So what I do, and what I found is a lot easier, is I've got a piece of uh, oak strip here that I've gotten from Home Depot and it's 3 quarter inches wide. Um, this is something I use for a smaller fence clamp that I use to make straight edge cuts with my saw, with my skill saw sometimes, but it also uses or makes uh, for using as a good marking guide. Uh, for what I'm about to show you. Um, so you just want to make sure that you've got a really nice straight clean piece of, piece of wood. You can use poplar, you can use maple, um, but you want something that's really nice and clean and straight and that's why I use oak because it's just a really good hardwood and it'll last a long time, makes a good marking edge. Um, so basically I've taken my metal tape measure, which, or excuse me, metal ruler, which I've also suggested buying from an art supply store, and I make sure that you know it is indeed three quarter inches wide, and it is, it's three quarter inch. Um, and then so to mark, if you noticed in earlier videos, I also suggested that you make sure that your top edges and rear edges of the sim cockpit are actually an eighth of an inch wider than the rest. So instead of the, your, your top or all your perimeter pre pieces um, on the top and back, etc., um, you know, for the CS1 or the HX1 are actually going to be an inch and five eighths rather than just an inch and a half. And, and when I say inch and a half, I'm talking about the, the width of a two by four. Um, and so because of that, when you're going to mark out where that three quarter inch dimension needs to go for your screws, you're going to mark this now from the inside edge. So you can see here that I've marked out my two by fours you know, already. This is a wall frame section. That was a wall frame section. And now I want to mark out a center line where I'm going to make my screw holes. So I can take this straight edge and place it right there and there we go, and make my center line. As you can see, I've already done it before, but the only other way to do this is if I'd went, you know, here, measured three quarter inch, made a hash mark, you know, here, three quarter inch, made a hash mark, then had to connect those two, uh, you know, lines together, mark, continue on and doing it. As you can see, that just kind of takes a lot of time to do. Um, whereas if you have something like this, it's about two, two and a half feet long, you know that it's really nice and straight. Um, and clean piece of wood, you just lay it down on your inside mark, mark the straight line through the middle, and away you go. And it's pretty elementary and quick to do. So as you can see, I've done this on the whole thing. Um, so now I know where all my center lines for my screws need to go, which is going to be used to attach the skin to the actual 2x4 framing. Um, and as I suggested in earlier videos, I recommend using uh, 5 8 inch long screws. You want to get coarse uh, which is called coarse uh, thread, so that the threads on the screw are not a fine thread like you'd use in metal, but rather a coarse screw, which is recommended for wood. Um, also screws that are usually called number six, as in the numeral six, um, is a good way to go. Machine head or Phillips head 
and also use a finishing washer with the Phillips head if you, if you want to. I usually use the machine head style, 5 8 inch, good way to go. Um, but basically back to something I also talked about in earlier videos is spacing your screws properly. I'll just review that again quickly right now. Um, but basically now that I've got all my lines marked out where the screw heads need to go, I'm going to take a total measurement and let's just say for example this measurement up here is 36 from that distance to that distance. It's not, it's obviously longer. You'll have to consult your blueprints and builder manual for that. Um, but basically where these two lines intersect, I think that would be fine. I'd make a screw there and I'd come in three quarters of an inch here and I'd mark and I'd make a screw hole there. So let's just say that's that distance between the outer edges are 36 but I know that I'm coming in three quarters of an inch and three quarters of an inch there. So I would actually say 36 minus 1.5 inch because 0.75 and 0.75 is 1.5 inch. So I'm automatically cutting that off. And what does that equal? Well, it equals 34.5. So we know that we've got a space distance to work with that's left of 30.5, 34.5. And now you want to add up how many spaces you actually want to uh, create. And those are for your screws. So rather than count how many screws you're going to use, you're going to count how many spaces you want to use. I know it's a little confusing, but this is talked about in the builder manual and explained in more detail. Um, but let's say I want to use one, two, three, four, five screws. And so that's actually going to leave, if I put one there, one here, I think, one there, one there, and let's say one there. So um, that would be using an additional one, two, three, four, five screws, but it's actually creating one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. So. I take that number that we were working with, 34.5, and I divide that by the six spaces, and that equals an exact 5.75. Simple enough, so now I know that each measurement from the outer mark, and I would just start at each end, measure 5.75, come over from that side, measure in 5.75, and keep going in until you just have whatever space is left over in the middle, which should also equal 5.75. And so that's it. That's a simple way. If you come out with a fraction or decimal point, you know, there's uh, conversions on the internet for hundredths of an inch and stuff like that that can help you round it up to if it needs to be five-eighths of an inch or, you know, something that's not exact like 5.75 is. But what I've found with all the CS1 and all the HX1 skin panels is that anywhere from about 5.5 or 6 up to 7 inches is where you're going to find all your screws to be placed. Nice and even. You don't really want to go smaller than that. You don't want to go larger than that. So just think, you know, anywhere from uh, say 6 to 7 inches is ideal for your screw spacing around uh, the entire perimeter and on your wall frames. And so that's it for uh, finishing up the skin panels and uh, installing screws on the CS1, HX1, as well as any of my SIM models. This uh, same stuff, in fact, will apply to applying and installing the skin on all the uh, sim station models and sim cockpits from simsamurai.net. So that's it. Thanks for watching another episode in the Construction Builder series. Thanks. This is Jeff and have a good day. We'll see you in the air. Bye.